Welcome back friends. This is Current Affairs Funda and today I'll discuss some important questions from the topic that is search and indices. Search and indices. So, today we are going to do search and indices ke kuch important questions and answers. So, before going to our lecture, first of all, I'd like to inform you that about our channel. Basically, we are delivering free education for all of you. Spread the word among your friends and those people who are preparing from the home and can't afford the coaching classes. And guys, if you need any specific topic video, then please do comment on our Facebook channel. That is facebook.com slash current affairs funda CAF. This is our Facebook channel. And guys, do subscribe here because if you already subscribe this channel, then you will be directly notified if I uploaded any video. Now, let's go for our topic that is certs and indices. And here I'll discuss few questions, few important questions for the perspective of railway as well as SSC exams and general competition. If you are giving any government exams, then certs and analysis are the important one. Okay, now let's go. First of all, uh, I'll discuss some uh, important formulas. Suppose a to power m into a to power n. So it will be equal to a to power m plus n this is the formula one and second that is a to power m divided by a to power n so it will be a to power m minus n because a to power n when it will go to the numerator part then it will be a to power minus n so a to power minus m minus n that is the formula number three guys a to power m whole is to power n so it will be equal to m into n you have to multiply both the powers okay number four that is a b whole power that is n so individual power it will be a is to power n uh, there is some uh, mismatch here a is to power n and b is to power n okay so read this one here okay now let's move for the next <coughs> number fifth a divided by b is to power n so it will be equal to a is to power n and divide by b is to power n the powers will be uh, will come uh, separate segments okay a is to power n and b is to power n divide by okay next a is to power 0 that is 1 always if um, any segments that's power extent is to 0 then the, uh, your answer will be 1 next 7 root a into root a it will be a okay so guys one thing more you can also write suppose uh, there is an example like 3 value so you can write this one here ro uh, root 3 uh, 3 will be equal to root 3 into root 3 okay so that's why I'm telling you a formula root a into root a it will equal to the a a is a any number suppose uh, root a and uh, that is the power that is n uh, so a power will be 1 by n suppose n is written here okay so this one is all about the power in the form of power root power okay suppose root a b and that is n here so it will be a uh, separation root a and root b okay and uh, uh, the root uh, identify as a n now see number 10 that is n root a divided by b so it will be root a root b and n would be the power in the form of that is a is to power 1 by n okay and now see next one that is n uh, root a is to power n so it will be a why c because it will be in the form of a is to power 1 upon n into the power is already given n here so n n n will be cancelled out and a is to power 1 that will be a that's why i have written here a number 12 formula that is uh, root a and that is um, uh, base n and the power uh, and again a root and that is the here yeah, m so guys it will be m into n this will be in the multiplication and the root a will be as it is okay so it's all about some search and indices formulas that you need to remember after uh, knowing all these formula then you can easily solve all the problems number 13 that is uh, root a is to power m 
n base that is n so it will be equal to the n base and e is 2 power m okay now guys let's uh, move for our question and answer series our first question that is 17 is to power 3.5 into 17 is to power x it will be equal to the 17 power 8 you have to find out the value of x ये क्वेश्चन दिया है यहां पर आपको x की वैल्यू फाइंड आउट करनी है सो हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व सॉल्यूशन विल बी लाइक दिस सी दे बोथ हैव द सेम वैल्यू 17 एंड 17 सो पावर विल बी ऐड सो 17 पावर इट विल बी 3.5 प्लस x एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू द 17 इज टू 8 ओके नाउ यू नीड टू कंपेयर द पावर्स कंपेयर नाउ so 3.5 plus x it will be equal to 8 so now 3.5 plus x it will be 8 and now x will be equal to 3.5 other side it will be negative so 8 minus 3.5 it will be 4.5 that is the value of x that is your answer okay so I hope uh, it's a very really very simple example but you should know the formulas right now okay now let's move for the next problem that is problem number two problem number two is like if a divided by b that is power x minus one it will be equal to the b divided by a is to power x minus three then you need to find the value of x okay so how you will approach in the right way i'm telling you first of all write down a divided by b is to power x minus one and it will be equal to see a divided by b and here is b divided by a so you need to again convert in the form of a divided by b so what will be here a divided by b and uh, the power will be uh, in the negative side in the denominator and when you will again reschedule this power to the numerator then it will be negative x minus 3 there will be a bracket okay so solve this one so it will be equal to the a is a divided by b is to power x minus 1 it will be equal to the a divided by b is to power minus x plus 3 so you can write 3 minus x okay so see a divided by b and a divided by b both are the same functions here so you can compare okay so when you can will compare then x minus 1 it will equal to the 3 minus x okay so guys uh, 2x will be 4 and uh, if you further simplify this one then x will be 4 by 2 it will be 2 so the value of x it will be 2 that is your answer I hope you understand this question and now let's move for the point uh, problem number 3 that is a uh, problem number 3 that is here given that 10 s to power 0 0.48 is equal to the x this is one equation and 10 is to power 0 0.70 that is equal to the by and x to the power z is equal to the by square then find the value of z you have to calculate the value of z so friends how you will uh, solve this question in a very smart way I'll tell you first of all see x to the power z that is equal to the by square okay so uh, put all the values of x by and z whatever given in your equation so it will be equal to 10 s to power and that is x and z 10 s to power 0 0.48 into z okay it will be equal to the 10 s to power by uh, the value of by that is 10 s to power 0 0.70 into 2 because that is square here okay and uh, we have multiplied with z because z is given here so guys uh, uh, this equation further simplify so it will be equal to the 10 s to power 0 0.48 z it will be equal to the 10 s to power 7.70 into 2 it will be 1.40 now guys you can compare easily because the base is same that is 10 is to 10 here also so 0 0.48 z it will be equal to 
okay so the value of z it will be equal to 1.40 divided by 0.48 okay now cancel out this decimal and this value will be equal to 140 divided by 48 okay again simplify this one then it will be equal to 35 divided by 12 and it will be equal to approx 2.9 that is your answer that is the value of z okay so this now friends let's solve the question number 4 that is if 5 is to power a equal to 3125 then you need to find the value of 5 is to power a minus 3 so guys how you will solve this question so I am giving you a basic approach to solve this question c 5 is to power a that is 3125 so convert 3125 in the terms of 5 is to power so it will be equal to 5 is to power 5 so here 5 is to power a so both uh, these are the two variables are the same 5 and 5 both are the same here so guys compare now compare now then you will get the value of a is equal to 5 okay so put this a value into this equation this one so ultimately 5 is to power a minus 3 okay so put the value of a it will be 5 minus 3 and 5 is to power 5 minus 3 it will be 5 is to power 2 this will be 25 okay so 25 is the right answer now guys let's move for the next question that is question number 5 if 3 is to power x minus y that is equal to 27 and 3 is to power x plus y is equal to 243 then you need to calculate the value of x see how you will approach for such kind of problems first of all take this one 3 is to power x minus y that is equal to 27 guys you need to convert this 27 in the form of 3 so it will be equal to 3 is to power 3 so 3 is to power x minus y is equal to 3 is to power 3 so compare now then you will get x minus y that is equal to 3 this is your equation number 1 okay and guys apply the same method here also so suppose there is equation like 3 is to power x plus y that is 2 4 3 convert this 2 4 3 in the form of 3 is to power so 3 is to power 5 that is 2 4 3 so 3 is to power x plus y that is equal to 3 is to power 5 so compare now then x plus y it will be equal to 5 this is your equation number 2 now guys uh, solve first and second equation that means x minus y that is equal to 3 and 2 number it will be x plus y that is equal to 5 ok so by uh, add both the equations so y will be cancel out x plus x it will be 2x and 5 plus 3 it will be 8 then it will be implies x that will equal to 8 by 2 and it will be equal to 4 the value of x that is 4 that is your answer so guys this is the only way to approach such kind of problems and uh, let's move for the problem number 6 that is 256 is to power 0 0.16 into 256 is to power 0 0.09 you need to solve this equation so how you will approach for such kind of problems see 256 is to power 0 0.16 okay into 256 is to power 0 0.9 see guys here you can uh, add both the two powers because uh, if uh, you know very well a is to power m into a is to power m it will be a is to power m plus n so you need to apply the same formula here so 256 is to power 0 0.16 plus 0 0.09 it will be equal to 256 is to power 0.25 guys we can write 0.25 in the form of that is uh, decimal cancel out it will be 100 so it will be 1.1 by 4 so 0 0.25 is equal to 1 by 4 so 256 is to power 1 by 4 so guys how you can calculate so in under root it will be 256 here 
and power will be here so how you can further simplify this one 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 4 times 4 that will gives you 256 and root power that is 1 by 4 so 4 will be here so guys there is a pair of 4 and you need to make the pair of 4 so 4 will be your solutions okay so this is the solution for this problem so guys uh, let's make all the notes side by side and it will really help you and guys keep watch our part 2 before this video because uh, in the part 1 that I have calculated and included only question 6 here and in the part 2 I have added 7 up to 13 questions okay so thanks for watching this video keep like this video comment and share guys because uh, if you have any suggestions regarding anything in this video then you can put it on comment box our team will definitely apply to you and guys keep subscribe this channel because basically we are preparing videos for those people who can't afford the coaching classes and they are basically preparing from the home that's why we are delivering the best knowledge as for our concern okay so if you want any specific video then you can put it on comment box our team will definitely get in touch with you thanks guys for watching this video have a nice day